Hello everybody. Uh, first of all, I would like to say it's a lovely day here. It's, uh, I guess it's maybe in the low 80s. It's not real hot, but the sun is shining, so that's good. And I'm taking a vacation day tomorrow. Yippee, vacation day. And you know, I'm always off on uh, Thursday and Friday, so it's going to give me three days off. Uh, where I work at, we have uh, our vacation time, we have to use it by our date of hire, which I was hired on August the 16th in 1999, which means, and I now I'm up to four weeks a year, so I have to use all my time up from August 16th of last year to August 16th of this year, and if I don't use it, I'm going to lose it. And I always end up losing some every year because something will always come up, somebody will either get sick or, or, uh, or uh, like when I lost some, um, year before last, I think I lost about a week and a half because they, they did uh, mandatory drug testing and we lost our whole second shift, so. Uh, that's another story. But anyway, I ended up losing some time. I'm not gonna lose any time this year because I've been taking random days here and there and I'm taking one full week the first week of August uh, for the uh, American Idol concert tour here in Greensboro. And me and Joey's gonna go to that. Not sure if Stephanie's gonna go, uh, but we're gonna go. And we're gonna go do the meet and greet. You know, I got to have my picture made with Adam Lambert. I love Adam Lambert. I was his one of his biggest fans. But anyway, uh, I was also a big fan of Michael Jackson. And this really irritated me today. I was gonna wait for a couple of days, you know, to do a video while I'm off, but this just got on my nerves because um, on the news the other night, first of all, let me start by saying there's, there's two of you online that are friends of mine on MySpace, and you know who you are. And I'm just going to tell you now, if you are that sick of hearing about it and calling him a pedophile and, and he wasn't any good anyway, first of all, just let me say, if that's the way you feel, that just stop watching. Bye-bye, go on, because you don't want to hear what I have to say. And now for the rest of you, uh, the memorial service was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I about cried when uh, Paris, his little girl, was talking. But what really got me the most was Jermaine. I, I just felt so bad for Jermaine. I can remember as a little girl listening to the Jackson 5, and uh, Michael and Jermaine were always the top two. They were like that, you know. I can remember those days so clearly. But anyway, uh, somebody on TV the other night, um, somebody from the Senate, I think, was talking about uh, we should be uh, talking more about the firefighters and police officers instead of glorifying a pedophile. Well, first of all, you're only a pedophile if you're convicted. And regardless of what anybody thinks, he was never convicted. So, he's therefore not a pedophile. And, you know, for people who, who, who were tired of hearing it, then turn the channel. And if it's on all the channels, that means the majority of us do want to see it. So, just go pop in a DVD or something. Watch a movie for a few hours and you get over it. It don't make any sense for people to be so upset over the news coverage. This is news, global news around the world. And people are interested, and people do want to hear about it. And so, if he wasn't a good person, like you said, then, you know, like I said, put in a DVD. Go back and work that second shift at work. Or whatever. But anyway, uh... I don't want to make this too long because it takes so long to upload. I'm using the, the camera that uh, Joy gave me, and I love it. And So I'll probably make a couple more videos this week. I'm thinking about painting my living room. I wanted to paint it last year on my vacation, and I don't know why I didn't. I think something came up. Well, I know something came up. I just don't remember what it was. But it seemed like every time I'm on vacation, something happens. Oh, dear God, it does seem like every time I take a vacation day, something happens. And I'm taking one tomorrow, so oh, don't let anything happen. I know the last time I had a vacation day, which was uh, two weeks ago, I took one on a Wednesday and had my Thursday and Friday. 
And so I enjoyed that Wednesday, but I had to get up and run out and do something on that Wednesday. That Thursday, I had to go out and do something, and I thought, well, I'm going to stay at home all day on Friday. I, I stay in my pajamas all day if I want to. And then that's when I got a phone call early that morning, and they said this girl at work had cut her finger real bad, and could I come in and take her place? So I went to work on my day off. That happened last time. So I hope nothing happens this time. But we'll see. And then the last time I took a full week was, excuse me, back in February. I think it was back in February. I took a full week, and uh, well, the week before that, my Jeep had broke down and was in the shop. And my coworker Antoinette, uh, she would, she was on vacation at that time, but she would get up every morning and come pick me up and have me to work by six o'clock in the morning. And she would always be outside at 2.30. Sometimes I don't get off to 3. But she'd always be sitting outside at 2.30 waiting on me. And she brought me home that whole week while my Jeep was in the shop. God bless her heart. I love her for that. And then, uh, so the next week was my turn to be on vacation. And so I went on vacation the next week. She went back to work and then her car broke down. So there for the first three days of my vacation, I'm getting up. I'm taking her to work. I'm going back, sitting outside, and waiting, picking her up. It's really weird how that turned out. It's nice to have good friends you can count on like that, though. It's really nice. But um, anyway, I guess that's about all I have to say for now. And I'm new to this video. I've got a few videos on my page, but they're from like a long time ago, and most of them was done by. Uh, Joe, my son, Hotel Angel, most of y'all probably know him anyway. But, um, so I'm kind of branching out on my own and we'll see what I can do. All right. Bye.